euro dollar. So although price action in the euro has been rather subdued over the past several days, the overall pressure remains to the downside with the market locked within a medium term downtrend. At this point, look for a lower top at 110.60 ahead of the next downside extension below recent lows at 107.11 and towards the December 2015 base at 105.21 further down. At this point, look for rallies to be well capped ahead of 110 while only back above 110.60 would take the immediate pressure off the downside. Sterling dollar. So cable is doing its best right now to recover out from recent five and a half year lows, the lowest level seen since 2010. The market needing to break back above the high that we had seen on Monday at 143.23 to strengthen this outlook and accelerate declines. Daily studies are highly oversold, so there is risk for a bit of a correction, which could potentially expend, extend all the way back towards the 146-148 area. At this point, though, the downtrend remains firmly intact, and once we do see a lower top, there is risk for fresh downside. But again, over the coming sessions with daily studies so stretched, consider the possibility of some form of a correction higher. Dollar yen. So dollar yen is doing a good job bouncing after recently stalling ahead of the key August 2015 low at 116.30. Look for rallies now though to be well capped towards the 118.84 recent high to 120 area some previous support before the market looks to head lower again. Ultimately the downside pressure remains intact and really only back above the 120.65 area would take the immediate pressure off the downside. But again we are sitting a bit of a bounce in recent trade with the market correcting with this correction potentially extending into the 118.84 to 120 area. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss continues to track higher in recent trade and is showing a pickup in volatility after a contraction in volatility over the past several months. At this point, the recovery structure remains intact and the market is favored to trade back towards and above the recent September 2015 peak at 110.50. A break above 110.50 will open the door for a move towards 115 further up. Look for any setbacks to be very well supported towards the 108 handle, while only back about below 107.15 would compromise the construction of a constructive outlook for Euro Swiss. Aussie dollar. So we're seeing a nice bounce in Aussie dollar after the market traded down to a near seven year low last Friday, and this rally could extend some more to allow for some technical studies to unwind, with the market seen back towards potentially the 70 to 71 area. But ultimately, look for rallies to be well capped towards 72, while, while only back above 73.85 would take the immediate pressure off the downside. Deeper setbacks are favored with the market confined to a broader downtrend and recently taking out the 69 area 2015 multi to your low. The break below that low does open the door for a medium term downside extension back towards the 2008 base which comes in around 60. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD is in the process of correcting off some significant gains that we've seen in recent trade to plus 12 year highs, almost 13 year highs, just to 146.07 thus far. But with technical studies tracking and highly overbought territory, there is risk for a bit of a correction over the coming sessions before the market considers the possibility of a higher low and fresh upside extension beyond 146.07. Look for initial support by previous resistance in the 140 area. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi has seen a bit of a bounce after taking out some key medium term support with the market trading down to 63.81 thus far. But after a sharp decline in early 2016, we are seeing a bit of a correction, though the correction should be very well capped towards the 66 to 67 area. Ultimately, only back above 69, which is an anticipated medium term lower top, would compromise the downside pressure in the New Zealand dollar. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 is seeing a nice little bounce in recent trade after the market traded just shy of those 1834 August lows. At this point, any rally should, however, be well capped towards 2000 with previous support now turned resistance at 1993 seen capping gains. Only a close back above the 2000 level would take the immediate pressure off the downside. Gold. So gold continues to show the potential formation of a meaningful base off those multi-year lows that were seen in late 2015 at 1046. Look for a higher low now in place somewhere around 1070, which will be confirmed on a break back above recent highs at 1112, and then open the door for the next upside extension towards the 1192 area further up. At this point, only a close back below 11, uh, only a close back below 1070 would compromise the immediate constructive outlook and put the pressure back on those. 1046 lows below which would expose critical psychological barriers at 1000 further down.